Okay, let's see if I can actually do the frickin' Water Temple this time. I apologize for taking so long to get back to this, but let's just say that life has not been too happy with me lately, and leave it at that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Alright, so, of course, with this being Master Quest, we are actually going to start the Water Temple off a little bit different than what we did in the original. We actually need to go this way first. Daggummit, Link. Go in the door. Thank you. That was totally Link's fault, not mine. I take no responsibility. Alright, so... Need to stand right here and play the Song of Time. And now we need to use Din's fire. By the way, if you hear a chicken outside, uh, ignore it. My family has a pet chicken. Don't ask. They just do. Alright, so now we need to go all the way down here. a little too close to the screen there, Link. Okay, so you can ignore everything in this room save for one thing. This back here. Everything else, completely ignore. Because there is another crystal switch underneath this crate specifically. If I can actually break it. Yeah, there's a crystal switch right there. But all it does is open that up and release enemies. And those enemies are completely pointless to fight. So, save yourself the trouble and just don't even activate it. Alright, so now you're probably wondering what to do here. Well, Master Quest's version of the Water Temple has this thing where you literally have to hookshot these right in the center now. If I can actually do it. Daggum it. Come on. There. So yeah. Anytime you come across these, hookshot them right in the center. They will now have secrets hidden behind them. The game doesn't exactly do a good job of hinting this, and some of them don't even hint it at all, but you kind of have to just experiment with it. Alright, so with that done, we should be good to go see Ruto now. If I'm right, nope, we go the other way. I always confuse the two for some reason. Blah. No, it's fine. I had to go all the way down here anyway, so. Just makes my job easier. Hello, Ruto. I still find it funny that she actually thinks that she's our fiancé. And I know some people are like, well, she gave you the engagement ring, which is the freaking Zora Sapphire. I don't count that. She is a Zora. Link is a human. It would not work. End of story. I do not care what anyone says.
also just have a biased hatred towards Ruto, but, you know. We don't talk about that part. Anyway. We need to go up. Okay, Link, you don't have to, like, moon the camera now. Okay, I kind of want to check this out real quick. <clears throat> it always kind of weirded me out that you have to... Or no, not that you have to. It always weirded me out that this wall is actually just open here. Because in the original, you had to bomb it. I'm not sure why they just left it wide open. Let's see. You actually can't open that chest while the water is raised. But I just wanted to go ahead and spawn it. Figured I may as well at least do that much. Alright, so now we need to stand here and do dense fire. Get used to torches, because you're going to be seeing a lot of them. This is it. Come on. Give me a challenge next time, dang. Got a lucky cheap shot, but I mean, that was the most you got. Alrighty, so... I believe this is the map. Yep, yeah, this is the map. Uh, oh, there's a fairy right there. You know what? May as well catch it. Or accidentally use it. That works too. Oh well. I got two other fairies. I don't necessarily need that one. Oh, I just about got ahead of myself. So yeah, just like in the original, we will be playing around with the water level a lot. Probably not quite as much, but it will be a good bit. Alright, and just like in the original, stand here and use Din's fire. You don't even have to aim your bow through the torch. That's what they want you to do, but come on. I'm lazy. It's also more efficient to do it that way anyway, especially since they give you magic, like right there. Brah. That should have killed you. I'm just saying. And if you're wondering, yes, there was a purpose in that. See, if you would have killed all the enemies and then hit that, everything would have spawned after hitting that. So if you hit it before killing everything, they just spawn immediately. So either way, you have to hookshot that thing in the middle there. And we got the compass. And instead of making us raise the water level again, they give us hookshot plates. I guess they felt the need to make it easier, even though this is Master Quest. And we have the long shot already. Although, unlike the Fire Temple, you have to work for the boss key. So, we're not going to be finishing this temple that fast. But I do find it funny that they give you pretty much everything right at the beginning. Okay, so what we need to do now is go up here. And we need to raise the water level. Okay, so, follow my instructions exactly, dang it, 
Follow my instructions exactly, and we will get through this portion pretty quickly. This section right here. This is the only one that matters on this floor. Okay? Nowhere else matters right now. And nothing behind here matters. It's just a gold scotola that's behind there. Or wait, did I get it wrong? No, I did get it wrong. Dang it. Yeah, I did get it wrong. This section does not matter at all. Never mind. Scrap everything I just said. Scrap everything I just said. Never mind. <laughs> and I'm paying the price for my own mistake. Well, you know what? We're getting that gold scatola since we're already here. And it died. Okay, so this section matters if you want the gold scatola. Otherwise, it does not matter at all. Didn't I kill you already? Eh, whatever. Me failing in typical Jossor 2 fashion. Love to see it. Okay, so, scrap what I said. That section does not matter. We need to go the other way. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch, right here. This section matters. Okay. I was testing you guys earlier. See if you guys would pick it up. Okay, no, I just straight up failed. Anyway, this section is what matters. Right here. Not that faker we did the first time. Okay, so what we need is one of these. Alright, so we're going to have to be very careful. And there we go. Alright, like I said, ignore that section over there entirely. And just do uh, that one. There you go. Now, unlike the original, we can't use the um, Scarecrow song to uh, access the third floor. So we do have to go through this section. Even though this section kind of seems pointless, it's really not. I literally could have just slashed that with the sword, but whatever. Bruh. Not sure why they give you a small crate there. You can't really do anything with it. Hmm, whatever. Okay, so with that done, we are now good to access here. But first, before I do that, I'm actually going to do something. You're probably wondering uh, what the heck I'm doing because we're not actually supposed to go here yet. Since we are capable of accessing this, I want to go ahead and leave a warp point right here just for easy convenience of traveling. This way, when we get the boss key, we can just warp right to the uh, boss chamber. <laughs> Alright, and with that done, let's go in here. 
Okay, so it seems like they don't give you much of anything at first, and you'd be right. We need to hit that. Alright, and now, it's not blatantly obvious which one of these you need to hookshot to. But if I remember correctly, the one you want to hookshot to is actually that one, if I can get my GameCube controller to not be stupid sensitive for no reason. Alright, and the reason uh, I say this one is because if you hookshot to any of the other ones, you will inevitably fall down the, the stream. Hey look, a fairy. Let's see if I can actually catch this one instead of, uh, there we go. All right, we are in business. Okay, this room isn't too awful bad. You just need to go down here and take these guys out. That's literally it. Die. So yeah, once you take those guys out, uh, the hookshot plates literally raise in your favor there. So now it's just a matter of hookshotting our way through the room. See, actually, I wonder if the long shot could just reach that. Come on. There we go. Oh, well, never mind. We don't have to hookshot our way through the room completely. See, actually, hold on. Okay, never mind. I was thinking of that like like that spawns here, but that's only in the original. That's not in Master Quest. Okay, so I'm pretty sure everybody remembers this room from the original. Where we had to fight Dark Link. Let's see if I can actually make him show up. There we go. There we go. Alright, so if you're wondering about Darkling's health, his health is actually equivalent to the amount of hearts you have. So, the more hearts you have, the longer it takes for him to die. But the less hearts you have, the quicker it is to kill him. And we are good to go there. another fairy this dungeon is slightly generous with fairies it's also generous with hookshot plates okay navi i'm not blind i i already know so they give you a bit of an easier way to get through this section with the hookshot plates here And I say easier because you don't have to worry about the vortexes. Literally just hookshot to these and you're fine. Although, I think the biggest enemy of this is literally the sensitivity of the GameCube controller. But I digress. Oh crap. No 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 Yeah I got caught there. Dadgummit I don't know why he didn't grab onto the thing. There another fairy in here. Yep. 
And yes, I know I'm being petty for one heart. I do not know why that did not work. Like, I clearly hookshot the thing, but... What? You're the long shot. You're supposed to be able to reach that. <sighs> Whatever. Take two. That's all I can say. Take two. Let's see if I can screw up this time. There we go. Oh, well. At least I didn't end up in a vortex this time. That would have sucked. Okay, we should be fine now. Keyword should be. I love the fact that that one's upside down. Hmm. No switch anywhere. Okay, so we're fine. That probably wasn't necessary, but, you know, whatever. Alright, so, unlike the original, there's no longer a crystal switch within the mouth of this thing. Instead, we need to just work our way over here. Uh, probably not low enough, but think about right there ought to do it. There we go. <laughs> that ruby's floating, that's cool. Oh, would you look at that? Torches. Again. I did tell you guys to get used to that. gonna need dense fire for this as well because we gotta stand right here and then actually use it so it'll hit the torches and there we go we now have the boss key And you know what that means. Since we placed that warp point earlier, screw the rest of the temple, and we are done. Yep, some of the rooms we don't even have to go in. Damn it. Alright, and just like in the original Morphos, not too bad if you know what to do. Alright, not saying I'm going to be successful at it, but I am actually going to try a bit of a trick that will let me take Morpha out pretty quickly. I just want to see if I can... Dang it. 
I just want to see if I can actually do it because I don't think I've ever succeeded at it. Let's see if I can just lure Morpha right there. Oh, dang it. Yeah, I screwed up. <laughs> I tried. So like, the trick I was going to try was to get Morpha trapped in a corner and then spin attack it to death, but I clearly failed at that. See, actually, no. Let's try it again. I really want to see if I can do it. Come here. All right. Come here. That's right. Wait, really? All right, you know what, fine. Well, I guess I can't do that fancy trick, so we're not, we're not gonna try it again. Dad, come come here. Oh, well, I didn't even need that trick. Never mind. Well, we took Morpha out. So, that works. Alright, now, I want to make sure I don't make the same mistake I did with my original walkthrough and accidentally leave the heart container. There we go. I only have one screw up with this temple, so hoorah. Yeah, okay, whatever, Ruto. No thanks. You were never allowed to offer that in the first place. Not as far as I'm concerned, anyway. Fine. Take it respectfully. Wow. Thanks. And with that, we have the water medallion. Hoorah. So, with that, we have two more to go. I half expected her to say, don't tell my father, but her father's probably dead by now, so... Oops. No, not really.
Okay, so there's a couple more things I'm going to do before wrapping the video up. We are actually going to get the fire arrows, and we are also going to reach the shadow temple. We're not going to actually do the shadow temple, but we are at least going to reach it. And now I get to put my red tunic back on and all as well. So yeah, that's how you get the fire arrows right there. And yes, it has to be right as the sun is rising. So if you miss your opportunity to get them, just play the sun song and you're good. Alright, so with that done, uh, what would be the fastest way to get to Kakariko Village? Oh wait, duh. I apparently never went and grabbed the, um, Prelude of Light, so... Yeah, I should have known that from my frickin' quest menu there. Well, it looks like we are running. Yay. <laughs> Alright, so Kakariga Village is going to be our overall next destination. Or actually, you know what? Mm, should I just not worry about the Prelude of Light for right now? Probably not. I think we'll be fine without it. I hadn't needed it thus far, so... Or I guess I could just go ahead and get it since it's on the way. Uh, you know what? Yeah. Come on, Epona. Yeah, we may as well go ahead and get it. I usually get it right after the Forest Temple. I guess I just didn't think about it for whatever reason. But we are going to go get it now. Alright, so let's go ahead and go grab the Prelude of Light. And then we will head straight for Kakariko Village, and then we will reach the Shadow Temple, and then we will wrap up the video there. Da, uh, da, da, da. There we go. And yes, the only reason I attacked him is because I wanted more magic. That is literally the only reason I attacked him. If I wanted to, I could kill every last one of them things. I just don't want to. I just wanted to enough to refill my magic and that was it. Thank you. 
Ah, uh, stupid C stick. There we go. I literally pressed left on the C stick. Alrighty. Yay, we hold time itself in our hands. Alright, so with that done, let's go ahead and head straight for Kakariko Village. Even if I didn't get the Prelude of Light right now. Or actually, wait, you know what? No. No. Uh, actually, no. Yeah, it would be better to go ahead and go straight to, um, Kakariko Village first. I, because I forgot, we actually have to do the bottom of the well dungeon, too. Or beneath the well. I always confuse it with, um, Majora's Mask. Bottom of the well, beneath the well, whatever. You guys know what I mean. I don't know why I wasn't thinking about that. But yeah, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to come back here anyway, because we have to do the beneath the well a uh, mini dungeon anyway. Come to think of it, did I ever even grab the... The, um... Song of Storms? Yeah, I did. Okay. It's been months since I recorded the last, uh, video. So, I couldn't remember what all I got. But, I am here to hopefully course correct things. Hopefully. The reason I was thinking, oh, I could just go straight to the Shadow Temple afterwards was because I'm so used to having already done this stuff. But I guess I didn't do that when I did the Forest Temple. Oh, well. So, yeah, we're going to reach the bottom of the well, or beneath the well, whichever one it's called. We're going to reach that first, and then we will end. We're not doing the Shadow Temple this video. Or, next video. Blah. I evidently cannot English. But I mean, what's new? Well, I'm trying. Say it ain't so. Imp was one of the six sages. Never would have figured that one out. Da, da, 
Perfection. Oh, wrong button. All right. So with that done, we can actually go straight to, um, the Beneath the Well dungeon. Because now we are capable of becoming a child again, and we actually have to be a child to even do the mini dungeon. So, yeah. It's raining, oh no. Actually, I should probably uh, equip the Hylian Shield again. Alright, so in order to access um, Beneath the Well, we need to go here. And then we need to go inside the Windmill and play the Song of Storms. This will cause the windmill to go haywire, and it will drain the well, giving us access. Plain and simple. The joys of not playing this on an emulator. I remember when I recorded my original walkthrough and the emulator crashed on this part. <laughs> uh, the joys of not playing this on an emulator anymore. Playing this on actual hardware feels nice. All right, and we have reached uh, bottom of the well. All right, so I'm going to end the video here, and next time we will begin uh, the bottom of the well dungeon. So until then, I will catch you guys later. Bye.